Boker Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. And, uh, of course, the Pope of Rome, Pope Francis, is actually in Sweden there. Uh, he's already landed and going to make headlines. It's going to be your trick-or-treat here in America. You're about to get, I don't know, probably more of a trick than a treat out of the Pope reunification of the uh, Lutheran Church. Uh, it reminds me, very interesting, of some comments there that was made by uh, this young man right here. I think it'd be interesting for you to hear it. Tony Palmer, which Tony Palmer had a mysterious death there. But let me let's, let you listen to what Tony Palmer has to say here real quick before we continue on about, by the way, the reunification of the Catholic Church and all the churches of the world. It's not just the Pope of Rome is not just trying to reunify the Lutheran Church into uh, the one world church system, the group system there, but he's trying to bring all denominations in. And Tony Palmer was a, was a major player in making this happen. Listen to what Tony has to say here. You're born again. Raise your hand if you're born again. You're a Catholic. <laughs> Take back, redeem what belongs to you. We are Catholics. And then there was the split at the end of the first millennium. We had the Orthodox, East and West, two churches. Then 500 years later, we have Luther and his protest. Three churches in 1,500 years. Three denominations, not three churches. And then from Luther's protest onwards, 33,000 new denominations. Lutheran Church signed an agreement that brought an end to the protest. Luther believed that we were saved by grace through faith alone. Amen. But that's not it. The Catholic Church believed that we were saved by works. And that was the protest. In 1999, they wrote this together. Because in the Protestant Church, we had a lot of cheap salvations. People were getting born again, but no fruit whatsoever. And because we didn't even look for fruit, it wasn't the issue. Because it wasn't necessary for salvation. And no, it's not. But it's a good judge if you are saved. So what these two churches did, they put the two definitions together. Listen to it. I'm reading verbatim from the Catholic Vatican website. Justification means that Christ himself is our righteousness. In which we share through the Holy Spirit in accord with the will of the Father. To, together we Catholics and Protestants, Lutherans, believe and confess that by grace alone, in faith in Christ's saving works, and not because of any merit on our part, we are accepted by God and receive the Holy Spirit who renews our hearts while equipping and calling us two good works. This brought an end to the protest of Luther. Brothers and sisters, Luther's protest is over. Is yours. In 1990... This is what has gained the momentum that has really brought about a reunification of the denominational systems back to the Mother Church era. And in Sweden, we see here Pope Francis, an article here on the uh, taking the Catholic pulse, pope, pope to encounter a Lutheran church influx in Sweden. If you remember, at one point during the Lutheran's Reformation in Sweden, if you didn't, if you were not part of the Lutheran Church, you either faced deportation or death. Um, but you know, this also reminds me of the biblical passage about uh, in Revelation, where it says that that the uh, that the mother had daughters. Those daughters are those churches. So yes, many of them are going back home to the mother church. And this is what Pope Francis is there in, inside of Sweden today, is to bring about that reunification. All the daughters are coming back home to the mother church. It is forming a one world religion for a new world order. And that may seem all good, in fact, there's several things that Tony Palmer said there that are good things in what he says. I, you know, 
But the problem is, is it's all a unification for a one world religion for a new world order. And that's the danger. You're definitely getting a trick, not a treat. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We'll be giving you a deeper look into this reunification, this new world orders, one world religion. As the time goes on, I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.